Hey guys, welcome to Mobile Tech Expo, the Corona Virtual Edition. <laughs> I tell you, man, 2020 has really thrown us some curves this year. And what it has been amazing is the adaptability and flexibility that we've seen in all businesses. And Mobile Tech Expo has said, all right, you know what? We're gonna go virtual, so we're pleased to be here virtually with you. My name's Jody Cedric. I'm with Zenware and RotaFest. I'm Rod Pusey, and I'm with Zenware and RotaFest as well. And I tell you, man, we wish we were there in person with you, but it's been an amazing experience for us to meet with so many people via Zoom to help them continue to grow their business through this Corona COVID time. It has really thrown us for some major curveballs, and it's made us realize more and more how important good systems in your business are so critical to help you grow and manage your team. Yep, and technology, I mean, you've all been kind of thrown into the technology uh, realm because of this virus and everything. And so it just, it only makes sense that we put together a technology-based presentation about technology and how you can grow your business with it. Um, you know, in the past, it was kind of the thing that people would delve into. They dip their toe in the water and do I really want to do technology? But this has really brought to the forefront how important technology is to making or breaking your business. And so today we wanted to help you look at five key areas as you're looking to bring in software to drive your business, no matter what software solution you choose to bring in, these five key areas that you're gonna to wanna to consider to help you manage your business. Yep, so let me kick that off with uh, the, the very first one we get asked about a lot, and that is CRM. How do we retain customers? How do we manage our customers? The technology that you use needs to be able for you to be able to recognize a customer that has been in your in your shop or, or you've gone to mobile or however you do your business. Do you know that person? Can you schedule them through the technology when they call you on the phone, when they see you on the street? If you're mobile and you're at this person's house, does the person next door, hey, I need you to do something for me when you have time. Can you schedule them right then and not really interrupt your day as much as you would think? The other thing is tracking of that customer. Very important that you track things about them, their vehicle, but also personal things about them. You know, that personal touch, knowing that Joan likes giraffes or that Bill doesn't like you to do certain things to the car and he doesn't want any chemicals on the dash or whatever, knowing those things in a system that can help you avoid and control your business. You know, and that's a really good point because I was out with one of our customers last year and one of the customers said, remember, I don't like glossy finish on my tires. Yeah. And so they had a note about in the system about that customer. And so they already knew that, but the it was so important to the customer that they reiterated that they didn't want a glossy finish. And it's really important that as you're not only tracking and scheduling and managing your customers, that you're also tracking that vehicle, what services have been done on it. So when you go out and you scan the VIN and it decodes that VIN, it tells you not only year, make, and model, but it tells you what services have been done on it before so that you don't double bill them or you also know what services maybe you can recommend on this visit. Yeah, and that's a really great uh, point to talk about is not just tracking the person, tracking that vehicle down to everything you've ever done. You would know the chemicals you've used and the processes you've done. And, you know, have you done a three stage, you know, have you cut and polished this car to know I can't do that again. The paint's thin. Last time I measured it was this thick. And that leads us right into something else, which is notifications. How do you notify your customer? How do you stay in touch with them? Not just from a, here's a bill, but email reminders, text reminders of, hey, your upcoming appointment's in three days. You know, thank you for choosing Bob's paintless dent repair and, and text reminders telling them that th your vehicle is done. Yeah, and that is a really key thing. That constant communication with your customer will really endear them to you and make them wanna do more business with you. One of the things that we've been asked over and over is how can I, more and more automate the process. So in particular this year, people have said, look, I want to be able to automatically email a invoice to my customer based on the, the status of a work order. So if it's completed, sending them an email or a text notification and say, hey, your car is 
complete. It's ready to pick up. All the dents are repaired. It's detailed. It's ready for you to come pick it up and you're off and running. And by the way, would you mind clicking on this link and giving us a review? So having that automatic email reminder takes one step out of your accounting process that enables you to better serve your customer. Yep. And the, and the other thing there would be something we call callbacks. Other people might call it other things, but this is a way for the system to remind you that you need to do something. You know, we all have that stack of really important stuff over to the side that never gets done. And this is a way for that stack of really important things, like I need to call back Bob and remind him of, you can put that in the system. And that's a really important part of technology is to help prompt you to do your job. And that would keep you on the path of doing the process the way you want to do it and not getting stuck and marred down in the day-to-day -day activities. And, and I love that feature because I actually experienced it as a customer. And I know I've shared this with some of you before, but I think it's really, really important to share because it brings home the power of being able to call back or to follow up on your customers. I was loaded with eight kids in a Suburban heading out to Arkansas on a vacation and I stopped by one of our customers who didn't know me. They knew Rod, but they didn't know me. And I came in and said, hey, I have a tear on my uh, driver's seat. Can you give me a quote on that? And so they came out with their iPad, they scanned the VIN, they put in the services that they were recommending. And I said, and they said, would you like to schedule it? I go, I got six kids in the car and we're on the road. So can you just email me that? 14 days later, they called me and said, hey, Jody, on July 3rd, you were in our office. We gave you an estimate for this. Would you like to schedule it? Guess what? I scheduled it. All because it gave them a notification to, hey, call back and follow up with that customer. Yep. The, another thing that's really important for your business is to have things, as you were talking about, automatically happen. One of those is automatically sending out invoices or work orders based on a status. So, you know, if you spend your day, and I know a lot of people do answering the phone, hey, where's my car? Hey, where's my car? Hey, where's my car? You can automatically send out a, uh, a reminder or an invoice or a work order to let people know, hey, your car's all finished. You can pick it up by five o'clock. And oh, by the way, here's a link to uh, an online payment. So if you can have a system that helps you do that, so you don't have to do it yourself, so you don't have to have somebody else that's expected to follow up, just when the technician finishes the vehicle, it automatically cues the customer, it automatically sends that invoice out, and there's one less thing you have to do that day. And talk about one less thing to do. I mean, we all know that stack of accounting, those invoices. Oh man. You gotta have integration with your accounting system, whether it's QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online. Make sure that as you're exploring an option for your business, that it has that direct integration because I think you said over 80% of small businesses run QuickBooks. Yep, that's the statistics that we're seeing. And so it is really important to have whatever accounting system you're using and, and, and integrations with anything is that make sure that you're not having to double enter. The story we always use as a local guy here that really didn't think it was a big deal that they would enter in an invoice, they would write it up by hand, and then they would turn around and they would enter in that invoice into QuickBooks. And what it turned out is the amount of money that he spent to pay employees to re-double enter those invoices was in the six figures per year, just hand entering those invoices. So automatic integration, so that's done one time. You take a phone out, you scan a VIN, you put in the work, you complete the work, and it goes into accounting, is gonna save you not just time, but massive amounts of money of paying somebody to data enter. And that we all know, everybody loves to sit in front of a computer and just type data enter stuff. We all love that. So make sure that the technology that you use is helping you so that at the end of the year, when you and your accountant go over your books, you've got a happy accountant, you're not spending your weekends at three o'clock in the morning writing invoices, and I know you're out there, people that do that, don't do that. That's killing your social life, it's killing your family life. You gotta walk away from the business at the end of the day and know that everything's accurate and your accounting is where it's supposed to be. Now, one, some of you businesses might be expanding into other areas. Like you might be carrying products that you're selling, having storefronts and carrying different lines of products that you're selling to your customers. So we've now introduced a brand new thing called inventory tracking. So we're really excited about that because you can not only sell product to your customer, to the DIYer, 
but you can also track product usage that your team is using and make sure that you're eliminating as much waste or disappearing <laughs> that might be occurring because you know we all want to think that everybody's working in the best interest of our company but but we need to put in systems in place that will help you better manage and track that inventory usage yep and one of the key things there that we get asked all the time is, you know, Rod, Jody, can I track the inventory that I use, but I also have a storefront and I sell products? Absolutely. You need to separate those out. So there's your usage pile and then there's your sales pile if you sell products to people. And you can separate those out by having them, we just call it a warehouse or a location. You can have your store and you can have your usage. You can have it broken down by person. Jody can have his own inventory. It's really important that you track that because how many times have you been out on the road or in the shop and you just, you absolutely know you've got that tire shine or you absolutely know you've got the, you know, that product that you need to use and where is it? It's all gone, oh, I had to take some last week. And so now you're stuck. This system allows you to absolutely not only track your inventory, but to order from your vendors right through the system. So if you have the right user role, you can be online and actually just click a button and order that product from your vendor. It sends them a purchase order and then they will mail you the product and, and, and you'll get a confirmation when it comes in. I think one of the things that's been really exciting for us is the diversity of businesses that come to us and are looking for a system. So whether you're detailing, PDR, wheel repair, interior repair, it doesn't matter. So one of the things that you need to look for is as much as possible, try to find a solution that will fit your overall business needs. And, and that can be a real challenge, but as you're ascertaining the things that are most important to you, make sure that you're creating the checklist that will really drive home the processes that will, that will help you in those processes that are kind of tripping you up on the day-to-day -day and more streamline your business. Yep, and one other quick bonus Quick bonus. Didn't know we were going to do this, but we're going to announce this right now. A cool thing that we're doing right now is photo capture. Taking before and after photos and the ability for you to attach those to the work order so the customer sees those right at the time you've completed. They can see it before and after. Helps cover you um, so that if the customer comes back in a week and says, hey, there's a big scratch on the side of the car or this part's all foggy, you've got a before and after. But it also gives them the confidence that you care about their car and now you're allowed to able to attach things to a work order and send it right to a customer. So nothing like CYA insurance. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So we want to thank you for joining us on this virtual Mobile Tech Expo edition. I mean, we would much rather be in person with you. So please reach out to us. You can reach out to me at jody.cedric at zenware.com or rod.pusey at zenware.com. And we don't want to just have you guys call us about our product. We, are, we want to be an advocate for any technology that you have. It doesn't matter if it's something we do or not. We are here to help you. If you call and ask us a question about websites or, you know, it doesn't matter. We would love to be able to mobile help you phones, out. Mobile smart phones, smartphones, it doesn't phones, matter. It doesn't matter. Even if we don't sell it, we can help you with it. Yeah. Uh, we are we're happy to do that. It's what we live and breathe every day. Um, and we're really excited about doing this, and I hope that you guys find these useful. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. We're knock on wood, hoping that we will see you in Orlando, Florida. But please make sure to check out the rest of the presenters that are part of the Mobile Tech Expo Virtual Edition. It's going to be phenomenal, and they're all, all driven to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for joining us. So from Zemware and Rotafest, see ya! Bye! <laughs>